everybody. Um, I don't, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> and I don't even really know how to do a vlog, but I thought I would go ahead and vlog my farm life. <laughs> I have lost at least one, maybe even two hours this morning researching goats and pigs and highland cattle and livestock guard dogs. And you know, quarantining isn't actually much slash at all different from my regular everyday life, but it is causing me to want more animals. <laughs> I already have 18 chicks in my basement. I already have more guinea keats on the way in another two months. And yeah, now I'm into goats, <laughs> pigs, cows, and guard dogs, you know. So I hope that you will join me as I tour you around my farm in the making. It's like a hobby farm, soon to be petting zoo. guineas out which I've already done today their house is right over here you'll see some chickens because while the chickens live up there whenever I let the chickens out they come straight down to the guinea coop to hang out and this is where they spend most of their day if not the chickens will also hang out right up here because I like to toss treats over the railing for them once in a while just to get them into bad habits you'll see some of my chickens are a little fatter than others and that's because they get lots of treats I'm trying to cut back on the treats so that they don't become too unhealthy because that guy over there is starting to look like a brick house fun fact you'll see we've got all of the tall grass everywhere and guineas like to hide their eggs and most likely and usually they hide them in tall grass so I haven't been able to find guinea eggs in a hot minute. I did find one nest the other day that had four eggs in it and I felt like a real winner. <laughs> Alternatively, chickens are really good about laying their eggs in the boxes like they're supposed to. Except for I do have one chicken that likes to hide her eggs. And no, I don't actually keep birds out here. These are all wild birds that have just moved into the boxes in the chicken run. But let's see if we have a hidden egg today. Oh, we have two hidden eggs. So there's one chicken that just likes to hide them and this is where I find them. It's brighter out here than I thought. So guinea eggs you can eat and I'll show you them. They're at least half the size, if not one third of the size of a chicken egg. They're a much more flavorful egg, but I use them interchangeably with my chicken eggs and recipes or whatnot. And there's your difference. We've got a guinea egg right here and a chicken egg right there. So I'll show you from outside, but there are two attached runs right here. I usually close the big door at night, but I always keep the small pop open door um, open so they can come and go as they please. This is where the chickens will roost. I only have seven chickens right now, but we know we have 18 little babies on the way and there really is enough space for easily 30 chickens right there. The nesting boxes, we've got eight of them. Mostly they use just those top two where I showed you I pulled the eggs from. And then this is my little storage situation, which those cans and that stuff is usually in the storage. And now they've seen me and now they're coming running because they think they're gonna get treats. Anyway, um, all the storage stuff is usually in there. I saw a mouse in there the other day, so it's now out of commission until I can get that completely sealed up so that I never have to see a mouse ever again. A view of the coop from the outside. Totally enough space, and some people will keep their chickens exclusively in a run and a coop, but ours like to just free range around slash follow me around. 
I'm hoping I might have just discovered a nesting area and I'm sneaking up to see. Nope, that's just a dirt bath area. <laughs> False alarm. So one question that I get frequently is why did you get the guineas? And the short answer is that they eat ticks and they kill snakes. So I moved into this house less than a year ago and within the first three to six months, I saw like four or five rattlesnakes. I am not down for rattlesnakes. And as you can see, I walk around in flip flops all of the time, which is definitely not advisable or safe. However, now that we have the guineas, they eat ticks and they will actually kill rattlesnakes. The more guineas you have, the better. They are a flock animal and they wanna be in a flock of at least 10, if not 20 or 30. The more that you have, the braver they are and the more that they can go after a predator. I actually had my flock of guineas chase off a coyote one morning. They literally ran the coyote off the property. Now, if there was just one or two guineas, they probably would have been a snack but because they were in a larger number they're really fierce and they can make a lot of noise that is something to be noted don't get guineas if you don't live in the country because they will visit your neighbors and they will make a lot of noise now, i personally think that this space right here behind the garage is going to be the perfect spot for some goats and pigs and for our livestock guard dog to live and so i am hoping to get that erected in the next one to two months but I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. But that's what I want to do. Stay tuned. Well, this is literally their morning routine. They just run right down straight to the guinea coop. That's Brenda. I call her Brenda because it's the only one that's white. It's the only one that I know which one it is because the rest of them look alike. And she's always bitching wherever she went. <laughs> The one guinea nest that I have recently found is actually right around here. I would go show you, but I can't be seen near it, or the guineas will just abandon it and start a new one somewhere else. But I'll try to show you from up above. And here is your aerial view of the nest that I found. It's right, right there. <laughs> Looks like there's more than four eggs now. Uh, you guys, things have escalated quickly. I told you they to hang out down there. There is currently a guinea hen laying an egg. I don't know if you can tell, but right in front of the one that's standing there, there's one laying an egg right there. And so this is how they operate. The one behind her is standing guard, as is the one making noise over here, standing guard. And you can't quite see, but there's another one on the other side of the fence. There's two of them standing guard right there on the other side. So four guineas will stand guard when one goes.